Financial analysts say the commercial real estate industry is headed for a crisis worse than the 2008 Great Recession. This comes after businesses have left downtowns across the country with an increase in remote work and higher costs. And that includes downtown Minneapolis, which is where we find Fox's Mills Hayes tonight. So Mills, what could this eventually mean? Kelsey, many of uh, these downtown buildings are owned by investment firms and they rely on banks for loans. But now that there is less demand for office space, less businesses are renting from these investment firms. And now there is some concern from financial analysts that uh, these investment firms may not be able to pay the banks back. Between seeing Minnesota Twins play ball or catching a show, downtown Minneapolis is seeing people return. Now, as we sit here today, you know, we're really beginning to move in a positive direction. Steve Kramer runs the Minneapolis Downtown Improvement District. Like all downtowns, the pandemic hit like a ton of bricks and things really shut down. Then we, of course, had the murder of George Floyd here in our city, and that caused civil unrest here and it had implications around the, around the country, around the globe. Last week, AT&T announced it was leaving for the suburbs. If people are working from home a lot more now, um, if they do want to go into the office, they're going to want somewhere nearby. According to CBRE Global Commercial Real Estate Services in New York City, there has been a 7.6% increase in vacant buildings since the pandemic. In Seattle, an 8.2% increase, and in San Francisco, a whopping 25.4% increase. In Minneapolis, there's only been a 2.1% increase in empty space, but some worry the problem could get worse. Over the next couple of years, we are going to be seeing uh, these leases expire and companies as they expire will likely either vacate or uh, or downsize. With less demand for office space, investment firms who own these downtown buildings may not have enough money to pay off their loans to the banks. Do we believe that we're going to see defaults? Absolutely. Are we keeping a close eye on the banks that have that hold a lot of these loans? Absolutely. But generally, we believe that we are going to be able to come through the other end of this. NCRB tells me that downtowns are not dying, thankfully. Uh, we know that many people come downtown, including myself here, uh, but they are shifting their focus. It's going to be less about the office space. It's going to be more about residential, entertainment, uh, and retail. It's going to be the hot spots for those things in Minneapolis. Mills Hayes, Fox 9. Yeah, everybody's going to uh, be trying to get the sports and events oh, yeah. and get those to bring Honored. people yep. downtown.